Hey there, glad to have you here. Today I'm going to show you a few tricks I picked up uh, using Glock 3.5 uh, Sonnet for SEO content generation and SEO content idea generation and more alike. And obviously you're going to be able to use uh, this prompt I'm going to share with you to optimize your SEO processes and keep things low cost. And also this video is going to be useful to kind of uh, explain what Cloud 3.5 Sonnet can actually do because I've seen some content creators say some outrageous things <laughs> that are simply not true. Like for example that you can use Cloud to create an, a one prompt app that can help you generate keywords with accurate data which is not possible without an API from a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs or a similar SEO tool. That makes it pretty much impossible to use it for SEO if you're taking that approach. So instead of saying things like, like hey Cloud, give me a list of keywords with search data and more stuff like that with updated numbers, it won't be actually able to do that. Instead, you should take a simpler, much, much simpler approach and ask questions that a seasoned writer and SEO expert would be able to respond. So hopefully you'll be able to take full advantage of Cloud 3.5 Sonnet with the prompts I will share with you in a moment. So let's get right into it. Now, the first prompt I'm going to use for this video is going to be uh, one to generate content ideas. Let's explain uh, this prompt uh, quickly. Using the following keyword, uh, please give me a list of X amount of desired output and desired output is going to be keyword ideas, long tail keyword ideas, LSIs, anything you want you need as a result of this prompt. The next instruction is going to be uh, make sure the desired output is as natural as possible and uses words people use when searching for this input and that's going to make it uh, give you humanized uh, responses for LSI keywords, long tail keywords. So yeah, I'm going to input now the, the, the prompt. So my keyword, my main keyword is going to be golf for beginners. Okay. Okay. So you can, uh, as you can see, you got uh, 10 simple keywords that can, you can use to start creating the content. So this is just going to start uh, the process for you. You can um, give it more instructions so that the keyword ideas are very specific to, to your situation. So let's go to the next prompt. Okay, next in the bag of tricks, uh, we're going to be uh, creating an outline for an article, which is uh, absolutely necessary if you are <laughs> a writer who gets uh, a little bit sidetracked when, when you're writing. So using the following keywords, titles, topics, generate an outline for a blog post. Keyword one, keyword two, keyword three. And also I give the, I give the AI the instruction of following these uh, parameters. Like it must include X amount of H2 titles. It must include X amount of H3 titles under each H2 title. And it must include X amount of facts and it must include a, a short 20 word description after the H2 and H3 titles and also follow current SEO conventions regarding titles, which is going to be very useful to get SEO optimized titles. Once again, the final instruction of the prompt is to make sure the titles are as natural as possible and use words people use when searching for content like this. So again, I'm using the following keywords, generate an outline for a blog post, and I'm setting uh, this, these three keywords. So let's go. Okay, so now as you can see, this is amazing. I would read an article like this and it would be much easier to write it if I were using this outline. So this is gonna be a very comprehensive article that's definitely gonna be useful for golf beginners. So yeah, let's check out the next prompt, which is gonna be, hey there, analyze the following blog post and suggest external links to authoritative and relevant sites in the niche. And yeah, I give it the full article and uh, also follow these parameters. My niche is introduce the niche and the purpose of the blog is introduce the purpose Consider that to avoid including links to my competitors. 
and include at least X amount uh, of links distributed throughout the content and don't modify the rest of the content aside from adding the external links and let's try that right away I already uh, generated this article and I already pasted it here and uh, I have it in HTML right here so let's check it out okay so now as you can see we have a list of very useful links to different golf related content which is gonna be very useful if you want to add external links to your content so for example developing your skills and it sends you to the rules of golf which is obviously necessary and for example uh, cleaning your clubs and how to take care of your new golf clubs section uh, in some cases the AI is gonna give you fake uh, pages it's gonna lead to fake pages so if you want to streamline this prompt a little bit more you can modify the prompt so it doesn't give you exact uh, links because in some cases it won't be an accurate link now for the internal linking here's what you're gonna do here's the prompt hey there please analyze the content in the following blog post and suggest phrases to place internal links this is exactly what i was telling you about uh, the external links and you can use just the suggestions it's, it's going to give you so you don't have to think about it and spend a lot of time uh, doing that so also follow these parameters uh, give me a list of phrases from within the article where placing an internal link would make sense and accompany each phrase with an example from another website so that's very simple i'm just going to copy it copy the prompt and paste the article in HTML okay so let's send it and wait a little bit okay so now you have these ideas uh, that you can use to actually uh, create new content and if you have these uh, if you don't have these content well there's no reason why you shouldn't be creating it and now let's check out the next prompt which is going to be generating h1 title ideas now this is going to be the prompt please read the following article with the article as a reference please give me a an x amount of title ideas that encapsulates uh, the whole content and are under 60 characters also please follow the parameters uh, select the most common keyword in the article and include it in the title ideas include local info or date info okay and now here you have an alternative if you want to use uh, more specific uh, keywords so I'm gonna use um, I'm not gonna use a specific keyword I'm instead gonna use the article again and I'm gonna copy the full article in HTML and paste it here now let's see what comes out okay so best golf, golf clubs for beginners from Mexico to the green tee off in Mexico top golf clubs for novice players Mexico's guides to golf, golf clubs perfect for beginners I would use this this is definitely useful now of course this is just an example you can obviously add more details and be very specific as as specific as you want okay so now let's try out the next um, next one that is going to be meta descriptions so this is not as important as the h1 title but it's still important because well you still need it it's a good practice to actually put it so please read the following article or outline you can do this with the outline i'm going to use the article and uh, with the article as a reference please give me x amount of meta tag ideas that encapsulate the whole content and are under 160 characters okay and send okay a comprehensive guide for beginners on choosing the right golf clubs including types features and top budget friendly options for 2024 these are all usable uh, meta tags okay so now let's talk about uh, the key takeaways from this video so as you can see I've created uh, this uh, list of prompts that are very useful for when I'm working with writing articles and optimizing them so yeah this is my main tool along with uh, the SEO tools of course 
and uh, this is something you can replicate to maintain your processes uh, on a budget and you don't have to spend a lot of money but of course you can use the same SEO tools and the same AI tools I've mentioned throughout the video to create custom tools for your business of course that will set you back a couple of thousand dollars <laughs> and for example I believe the Ahrefs um, business solution for this that allows you uh, to use their API is very, very expensive. It's like $14,000. So yeah, you're, you're going to be able to use these prompts and uh, cloud for free and it will take you in the right direction. So if you don't uh, like uh, these prompts, if you don't want to take uh, this, the cheapest route and you want to avoid the hassle of doing things uh, the hard way, because this is definitely the hard way. Um, you can use tools like Journalist AI. Journalist AI is an amazing tool that allows you to create content in just a few clicks and you can create as many articles as you want and they all will be optimized uh, for SEO with images, videos, and anything, anything you need. Uh, once again, try journalist.com, check out the website and again, you can get these three free articles and try out the tool. So that's it for today's video. And if you like this content, like and subscribe. And please uh, leave your comments if you want me to cover something specific in the comment videos. So yeah, until next time.